Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for an album review, which I'm finally returning to you for an album review for the first album review that comes out this Friday. Well, the album that comes out this Friday. For yours truly, Self Care album review that I'm going to be reviewing. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now I've been reviewing their singles for the past few months and it's the first single came out back in April which was a composure and I really dug that song. Then uh, three months later together comes out and that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad it just the how Michaela's voice is sounding in the song. I don't know if I dig it that much, but it wasn't a bad track. I gave it like a 4.5 out of 5 when I reviewed it, and it's still going to get the same rating, even after listening to it again. Um, Undersize was the third single that I did enjoy a lot, even though it was pretty mellow. It came out back in August like last month and then funeral home came out like the month after which was this month a few weeks ago actually and right before the album decides to drop and yeah what i think of the other six songs pretty good uh except for vivid dream vivid dream was just eh it was fine um, Michaela's voice in most of this album is really awesome. Uh, she ranges from a high to a different kind of high. And I really like that with her voice in this, uh, whole album. And the drum work and the guitar work in this whole album is amazing. Uh, Funeral Home's my favorite song, like I said. Uh, Undersized is a favorite, even though it is a little mellow paced, and Half of Me was another mellow track. Siamese Souls was the opener track, and that was a killer track. Glass Houses, I think, is a favorite of mine. So is Ghost. Uh, there's only like 10 songs on this album, and it's like 37 minutes, so you're in for a pretty short listen. Uh, but it's not a bad record. I think it's really good. Uh, I think they put out a pretty good debut album. Um, what else? Composure, like I said, is a favorite of mine. I like the chorus breakdown. It's really great with that banging drums pattern going, following the pacing of the song, and I really like that. And Michaela's voice going, you don't owe me anything, or whatever. And I really like that with her voice. Uh, but together, I think it's mostly about like anxiety and fears and sh her struggling with depression, which I can totally relate to that. A lot of people go through it. <laughs> uh, it's an everyday thing, which kind of sucks. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, this album's a killer album. I really enjoyed it. I like how they set this album up to be and how the overall sound is for this album is really good. Sure, there's a few mellow tracks, but... And some songs that may sound a little quirky at times, but for the most part, Self Care by Yours Truly is really good. I'm going to be rating it in a moment. i am just got a little more to talk about. Heart Sleeve, the final track, I thought it was going to be a mellow song. Another mellow song after Half of Me, because Half of Me was pretty mellow. And Michaela didn't start singing in Half of Me to like... 30 seconds in the song so not bad 
It's a pretty outstanding track. I did enjoy half of me. Uh, Glass Houses had a really good breakdown in the chorus. Uh, Funeral Home has a really good breakdown in the chorus. Verses are pretty sick. And uh, the message behind Funeral Home is about losing someone or whatever. Losing a loved one that you didn't know but still uh, cared about. In a certain way, I guess you could say. Uh, Heart Sleeve had a pretty good uh, guitar uh, outro, which was pretty cool. Um, way to go on with that guitar being done, stringing and all that. <laughs> but, sorry, my voice got a little scratchy for a moment. But overall... I think Self Care by Yours Truly is pretty awesome. I really dug it. I see myself returning to this a lot. I'm probably going to be listening to it at work today. Um, pretty much will be. <laughs> but yeah, out of 10, I think I'm going to give Self Care by Yours Truly a 9 out of 10. It's really awesome. There are only two songs on here that I didn't care about, which was Together and Vivid Dream. Or Vivid Dream. I think it's what it's called. I'd have to look at it again. In my downtime or whatever. But, yeah. This album wasn't disappointing. Michaela's voice in it is pretty awesome in this album. And the guitar and drum work is really outstanding and... Overall, the overall sound of the album is pretty damn good. So I would definitely check this album out if you haven't heard it. Heard of yours truly. I would start with their first EP, which is the uh, Afterglow EP, which came out last year. And I really dug that EP. I really liked it. Uh, but definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Yours Truly album, Self Care, their debut studio album, if you've heard it. And if you like this album review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for the Alicia Keys, Alicia album review, plus Keith Urban's Speed of Now Part 1 album review and then max color vision then uh mike shinoda drop frames volume three album review as well they had it linked on leaked on uh kingdom leaks but they only added one song to it and i'm like oh wow they fucked up <laughs> so they didn't get to link the rest of the songs the rest of the other 13 tracks so they're probably fixing it and then re-leaking re it again, if I'm saying it right. But overall, no, Yours Truly Self Care was a really awesome album. And if they have it on audio CD, I'm definitely going to buy that for sure. Uh, but those are the videos I'll be returning to you for, for those album reviews. There's four more album reviews I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to have a busy end of the week. And I will be getting to the Max Carson uh, topic probably by the weekend or so. Got to see where I'm at with videos. I'm sorry to the person that wanted me to talk about it. I just got really busy with other videos because I do music and movie reviews. And sometimes I'll talk about certain things too for my channel just to expand with my topics on what I talk about for this channel but yeah I hope you enjoyed this album review uh, definitely stay safe take care and I'll see you in my next video